Well, hi everyone. I'm Jessica. I'm one of the youth and teen librarians at the Chelsea District Library. And today I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to look up items in the catalog. But first, I want to show you how you can get a library card using our online library application form. You're going to start here at the Chelsea District Library homepage, chelseadistrictlibrary.org. And you'll see this red announcement at the top. If you click on the link in the announcement, it will open up our COVID-19 resources, including information on how to get a library card. I'm going to scroll down a little bit here, right down to the library card icon. Go ahead and click the link and it will take you to the form. You will need an adult to fill out this form um, and go ahead and answer all the questions. And then at the very end, your adult will need to take a picture of the driver's license and upload those files to submit the form. That's it, it's really easy. Now let's take a look at how to search for items in the catalog. If we go right back to the library homepage, chelseadistrictlibrary.org, you'll see that there's actually a search bar for the catalog right in the middle of the page. Let's do a search for a title of a book we already know. I'm searching for Because of Winn-Dixie. Now you'll see a lot of different options pop up here. This book is really popular and it's a few years old, so there are a few different editions and it was also made into a movie. So there's a few things we need to look at here. You can see that these are all books because there's nothing extra beneath the title or the author's name. But you can see here that this is a braille edition owned by some of the other libraries in our system. And this is a sound recording, so probably a book on CD. And this copy is in large print. And this one right here, and this one too, are on download destination. We'll talk about that in another video. I just want the regular print book, so I can choose any of these ones and put it on hold. I'm going to choose the one with the most options available because that means I have the best chance of getting it quickly. So just hit place hold enter my library card number and PIN, and I'm all set. You can do the same thing for searching for an author. I will use Kate D. Camillo, who wrote Because of Winn-Dixie, as my example. And you can see that I don't have to type her last name first, even though that's how it shows up on the catalog. I can search it just the way you would say her name, Kate D. Camillo. Now you can see that there are some biographies about her, but I want to see all the books written by Kate. So I'm going to go over here to the left-hand side where there are lots of different types of filters. And if I open up the author filter, I can click on Kate's name right here. And now I will only see books written by Kate D. Camillo. This will also include things like book on CD and anything that has her name attached as the author. If I just wanted to see physical books, I could further th limit this using the format filter and choose book. So now we have limited to all the books written by Kate D. Camillo in our whole library system. I could choose any of these, place hold. If I've already put something on hold, my library card number will be in there and I don't have to add it again. Now let's try searching for a series. Let's try the buddy files. And you can see that all the books pop right up. You can put them on hold. Another trick you can do is to click on one of the books and you'll see the series names listed here. Some libraries enter them different ways, so sometimes you'll see more than one. You can click on one of these and it will show you the whole series. Now let's search for a subject. So if you're working on a project or a report for school, you might need to search for nonfiction or informational books on a specific subject. Let's choose something simple like frogs. I'm just gonna type in the subject as simple as possible and press search. And you can see lots and lots and lots of books pop up here. 
These all look like they are informational books, not stories. So that's a pretty good start. But if you want to limit it further, I would use the collection filter. That way you're not going to get books like Frog and Toad, our friends, mixed in there. So we open up collection. We want nonfiction. Juvenile is a fancy way of saying kids or younger readers. So we're gonna choose juvenile nonfiction collection. And now we will only see nonfiction books about frogs. If you want to see more information about these books, if you click on the title, it will show you the full record and you can read a description. And sometimes you can see information like if there's an index in it, which can be really important, especially if you're working on a project for school. Now I'd like to show you how to find books that are similar to something you've really enjoyed in the past. So for instance, if you've read something like the Land of Stories series and you really loved it and you're super bummed that the series is all done, here's a quick way to find some similar titles to read next. If you click on one of the books in the series, you can scroll down and you can see the different official subjects that are assigned to this book. So if your favorite part of this book was that the series is based on fairy tales and other fantasy stories you already know, you want to choose this one right here, Characters and Characteristics in Literature. If your favorite part of the series was really the relationship between siblings, you wanna choose brothers and sisters. Let's try this one. So these are all books that share those same characteristics where part of the storyline or, or the characters are going to be familiar characters from classic folk tales and fairy tales in literature. You can see that some of these are picture books, which might not be exactly what you're looking for. So if we go back over to collection, we can choose juvenile fiction and see more chapter book style material. So those were some quick tips and tricks for using the online library catalog. If you have any questions or if it's just not working the way you think it should, please give the librarians a call or send us an email. You can reach us from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday and 10 to 3 on Saturdays at 734-475-8732 extension 219, or you can email us at ref, R-E-F, at chelseadistrictlibrary.org, and we'll help you out. Thanks for watching.